I hope you enjoyed that intro because I certainly did. I'm Major Triumph and this video is a compilation of in-game movies showing the construction of each wonder in Civilization 6. This list shows each of the wonders that can be built in Civilization 6. These wonders are divided into tech and civic classes and are further subdivided by era from the ancient era to the atomic era. This list includes the wonders from the expansion packs. This list shows the tech wonders in more detail. It includes everything from the Great Bath in the ancient era through to the Biosphere in the modern era. What follows next are a series of in-game movies showing each Civilization VI tech wonder being built. First off, we have the ancient era. It's in this captious and intenable sieve I still pour in the waters of my love and lack not to lose still. Thus, Indian-like, religious in mine era, I adore the sun that looks upon his worshipper, but knows of him no more. Can you imagine trying to talk 600 people into helping you drag a 50-ton stone 18 miles across the countryside and muscle it into an upright position and then saying, right lads, another 20 like that, then we can party. The ascent to the highest story is by stairs, and at their side are water engines, by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. I saw the house of Artemis that mounted to the clouds. Those other marvels lost their brilliancy. And I said, Lo, apart from Olympus, the sun never looked on aught so grand. From the height of these pyramids, forty centuries looked down on us. The Classical Era This lighthouse was the cynosure of all eyes. The southwest corner, a large perpendicular mass of sandstone, has become separated by a deep fissure from the body of the mountain. It has all the appearance of a colossal statue. At Rhodes was set up a colossus of 70 cubits high, representing the sun. The artist expended as much bronze in it as seemed likely to create a dearth in the mines. Petra is a brilliant display of man's art history in turning barren rock into majestic wonder. There were seven wonders in the world, and the discovery of the terracotta army, we may say, is the eighth miracle of the world. Eagles fly the turrets round and seem to flaunt the sky. They eye those walls now crumbling in decay and scarce from quiet rest their destined prey. Now for the medieval era. It is a beautiful and important monument and an international intercultural treasure unless and until it can be shared by both religions in harmony, which would be a grand idea. It should remain a secular building, honoring both religions who have made it beautiful. But the wrath of Hoochley Poochley was great, and as the sacrifice passed each of the four rooms dedicated to the sun god, 
the sun disappeared or reappeared in the sky. Ulua is one of the most beautifully built cities in the world. The houses there are entirely made of wood, their rooftops out of rope grass, and it rains with great vigor. Scholars are the heirs of the prophets, for the prophets did not leave behind a legacy of wealth, but that of knowledge. Everything here appears calculated to inspire kind and happy feelings, for everything is delicate and beautiful. The Renaissance Era All other lands found on the western side of the boundary shall belong to the King and Queen of Castile and their successors. Commonwealth of Venice in their armory have this inscription. Happy is that city which in time of peace thinks of war. King Solomon gave the Queen of Sheba all she desired and asked for, besides what he had given her out of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. The whole palace complex is built along a central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. The first time I stepped onto the rooftop of the Portella Palace, I felt as never before or since, as if I was stepping onto the rooftop of my being onto some dimension of consciousness that I'd never visited before. The Industrial Era The industrial heart of Germany practically stopped beating. Hardly anyone worked, hardly anything ran. The population of the Ruhr area had to be supported by the rest of the country. Clever men at Oxford know all there is to be known, but they none of them know one half as much as intelligent Mr. Toad. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Self-government is freedom, and with freedom is justice and patriotism. Don't watch the big clock. Do what it does. Keep going. And lastly, the modern era. I ought to be jealous of the tower. She is more famous than I am. Golden gates of sweet unbar, where strength and beauty met together, kindle their image like a star in a sea of glassy weather. Heaven is under our feet, as well as over our heads. The 
This list shows the civic wonders in more detail. It includes everything from the Oracle in the ancient era through to the Amundsen Scott Research Station in the Atomic Era. What follows next are the in-game movies for the Civilization VI Civic Wonders. The Ancient Era I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin, pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Also the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. The Classical Era While the Colosseum stands, Rome shall stand. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. My ancestor Darius made this Apadana, but it was burnt down. By the grace of Ahura Mazda, Anahita and Mithra, I reconstructed this Apadana. Upon the head of the god was an olive crown. In his right hand he bore a winged figure of victory. A vast tomb lies over me in Halicarnassus. Of such dimensions, of such exquisite beauty, as no other shade can boast. We can roam the bloated stacks of the Library of Alexandria, where all imagination and knowledge are assembled. We can recognize in its destruction the warning that all we gather will be lost. In a dusty, bustling corner of the Indian state of Bihar, there is a magical place that one might think of as the hub of Buddhism. Now for the medieval era. We greet you, Devi Meenakshi, she who shines like a thousand million suns adorned with bracelets and garlands. She who is auspicious. She who embodies existence. I always bow to you, whose compassion is an ocean. The temple is surrounded by a moat, and access is by a single bridge, protected by two stone tigers so grand and fearsome as to strike terror into the visitor. The great ball court is also very impressive. I would like to have seen them play a game, although it sounds like the end was pretty violent. I think it was safer to be a spectator. Church and state, soul and body, God and man are all one at Mont Saint Michel. And the business of all is to fight, each in his own way, or to stand guard for each other. Ye who tread the narrow way, by Tophet flare to judgment day, be gentle when the heathen pray to Buddha at Kamakura. The Renaissance Era Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one, brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. One had a twisted design, red, on a green ground. Another, all prickly angles, yellow and black. A third was ornamented with scales of blue and crimson. A fourth was in quarters like a melon. No vessel could pass these guns without being seriously assailed.
in the industrial era. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. Bolshoi Ballet is a universe of the imagination, a place of magic and enchantment, beauty and romance. Its many worlds vibrate with graceful dancers, glorious music and sumptuous costumes. Museums are on the front lines of the fight for culture, of good with evil. In any case, of the fight against platitudes and primitiveness. The modern era. There's no business like show business. Thus, the sculpture serves to give people one thought. Everything is in God's hands. And last, but not least, is the Atomic Era. An opera begins long before the curtain goes up, and ends long after it has come down. It starts in my imagination, it becomes my life and it stays part of my life long after I've left the Opera House. Down through its history, only three people have managed to silence the Maracana. The Pope, Frank Sinatra and me. For scientific leadership, give me Scott. For swift and efficient travel, Amundsen. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then remember to like and subscribe. If you have any personal favourite wonders, then feel free to leave a comment below.